at the gate we have Cardas R6G it has Bluetooth, card and fingerprint function most of the time you'll be using the fingerprint function that is relatively easy to use as compared to Bluetooth moving forward to the living room area this main door and the lock I did not change the digital lock because I want to open the door most of the time to allow a better airflow within the house this is the Akara mini switch it has 3 functions single press, double press and a long press you can set what each of these functions does in the Akara app to control the lightings in the house moving to the living room we have this D-Bot N8 Plus Pro with the auto emptying machine so you don't have to clear it every day I think it's a really good point plus it has these two detect functions to avoid any obstacle in the house and avoid them this is the TV console from Beehive 3 seater L shape so far from Seahorse so for the L shape plus material and its price point of below 1000 it's really hard to find of anything similar next we have this TCL 55 inch P615 TV what I like about this is actually it uses a VA panel it gives a sample image however the downside for this is that I find the UI actually is quite slow as compared to other brands like Xiaomi or Prism Plus that I used in the past and now we have this curtain and curtain rod from Ikea I actually installed switch port in each of them let me do a demonstration I really like this cozy feeling when I need to, to close the curtains and now I have to open so take note that this curtain rod is from IKEA extendable rod so you can meet most of the HDB middle frame do take note that there is this connecting point right here just right beside the curtain I thought that the switchboard doesn't work but if you set it to the performance mode uh, it will work more of the time I really like about this flat is because of this view it's really awesome Okay, next we have the widget wall that I did for my renovation my renovation in total is about 20,000 with relatively a few things so I'll, I'll move along as I show it so this is the Akara switch you can see it's a 3 gang and 2 gang so most of HDB flat are actually using non-neural for non-neural you will have to buy something called Tan Huo Xian so you can see that these switches are not the traditional type so you, when you press you just go back to the original state unlike the traditional ones where it stays there you can also control this using a M2 hub from Akara so you can control all the lights using your mobile phone moving on to the dining area this dining set I got it from Star Living Star Living is really a nice place to shop uh, for your dining stuff they have so many options, so many tables and chairs to choose from, especially chairs so this set is about 800 close to actually uh, 900 so um, these chairs I choose from like 10 to 15 of them and we like it because it's not fabric but it has a side resting armrest it's really good if let's say you wanted to prevent your kids from falling off the chair next we have this Hitachi fridge what I really like about this it has this auto ice maker it's just auto make and then you actually fills to the really big market as you can see you just top out the water at the bottom of the fridge and you just wait for them to come out as for the water dispenser we go for live in pure most of the kitchen stuff as you can see we got it from IKEA like the dish rack connecting rod and followed by the four shelf and we just add a contractor to actually build it for us as for the renovation in this area would be the kitchen cabinet at the bottom we skip the top 
even though we thought that we have not enough storage space but actually it's more than enough let's move on to the common room for common room we also bought the curtain rod from Ikea it's a black gout and ready with this easy to use this is the rod it's actually very very easy to move up and down as you can see it's, it's totally broke up it doesn't take a lot of strength to do this so I like it a lot we should have bought the 5 bedroom sets from 421 you also get something similar for 42 as well so this is the 5 foot wardrobe the table and stool so this is 3 set the bed frame this bed I actually bought it for somewhere else and then this side table so these 5 sets actually is around near 600 plus minus it looks really good on our appearance as internal wise I think it's still okay let's move to the next one the toilet so it's all on so for toilet wise we can see that I actually bought stuff from Songcho this toilet bowl is from Baron I changed it as compared to the original toilet bowl that HDB default is this is the 707 Kingston it has this water pump function that I really like so it, it does create a bit of noise but then it really give a stronger water flow so for all the toilets I already had the same set including the exhaust fan so now that I find the exhaust fan very useful uh, to reduce the mold, the order so we have the IKEA cabinet this is solid really solid yep. as for the basin we did not change at all so this is the default HTB one we didn't get any vanity cabinet below the sink because based on the past experience the cabinet tends to rust easy and the door comes off the floor and wall tiles are default by HTB this door we change it. Originally, it's actually a by four door. We find that it's too dangerous for kids to use, and then it's kind of a hassle, so we change it. Moving on to the master room, we change the master room toilet door to this frosty glass. It's very nice. Moving on to the wardrobe, master wardrobe. This is we got from the Shopee seller named Kingswood. It's priced around nine hundred dollars. We, it's really good quality and we love it a lot as compared to connector coats of this similar size although it's full height would be around 2 by 5000 that's something that you have to consider while building your renovation in our master room we also use the Prism Plus TV of 43 inch I think Prism Plus provide one of the best speakers in terms of TV based on uh, the brands that I used previously if you have a standalone sound bar or external speakers, that will definitely outweigh it no matter what. Okay, that's all for my room tour. I hope you like it. As you can see, my renovation is about 20,000, and then there isn't really a green wardrobe of any kind. So we can cut down a lot of costs for carpentry. So it really depends on how much your budget is to go about. Moving forward, maybe I want to do more automation to this house. Let's look forward to it. See you.